Hey Dawn, so I was gonna write all this but I just couldn't bring myself to do it, it's just too much, okay? So I thought I'd just make this video to tell you what I think, okay? Just my opinion. So, remember I was telling you about that girl that I read on one of the Facebook groups who had a serious cam impingement but she managed to get her paint, she had a label tear that she ended up getting surgery for but she got out of pain before surgery she said she had a constant seven to eight pain 24 hours a day and her just doing PT alone got her down to an occasional one to two pain okay after six months of PT alone okay with a cam impingement with a with a label chair that subsequently took five anchors to fix and like I said she only got the surgery because you know she wanted to jump a horse again and every time she jumped a horse she'd get that sharp pain back but apart from that she didn't have any pain anyway so I I I agree like what that guy says in upright health about you know having unactive or you know weak glutes and having overactive adductors you know in here is like I totally agree and that's what that girl said that got out of pain right with PT alone she said you know jumping a horse all the time made it adductors a deductors um super overactive and um and you know it was just constantly pulling a femur in and that's right like impinging and and kind of constantly aggravating the tear right and um and so that six months of PT actually did re reorientate or changed the way her femur sat in her socket um, and and took away the pain okay so so these people that say that you know I need surgery because the problem is you know it's a structural problem within the joint you know and therefore no amount of PT is going to fix it well this is a girl and I've seen others that you know this is and, and I've got FAI and I need the bones fixed well here's an example of a girl who had all that and she still got out of pain, okay, by just changing the orientation of her, of the way her femur sat in her socket, okay. So, um, uh, the way her femur ball sat in her socket, anyway. But, so, and, so again, and like this guy in this uh, FAI video at Upright Health, he's saying, yeah, overactive adductors and no glute strengthening. But what I've learned you know, painfully in, you know, the 44 years I've been alive is that just because someone knows what the problem is, it doesn't mean they know how to fix it, okay? And, like, and I'm very passionate about this because I totally, you know, fucked up my hips by stretching, okay? So I've seen some of the stretches those guys do at Upright Health and, I, and my opinion is that is just going to impinge your labrum more and just totally damage your labrum. And I was talking to another lady, right? And she had um, she had surgery with no Dr. No Shane No, and she said afterwards she was still getting all this groin pain, and she was complaining to a PT that this that you know the surgery didn't work, and the, and the PT I think used to work with Philippon, right? Anyway, the PT said it's your adductors, right? You, your adductors are tight again, and and the PT told her that. The thing with the adductors, it, it's like having a rubber band that you tie a knot in, okay? So you got a knot in the rubber, middle of the rubber band and with the stretching you're pulling the ends. But it's not getting rid of that knot in the middle of the muscle, right? So the PT told her to foam roll, okay? So not to stretch. And I can tell you, I stretched till the cows come home before, totally impinged my, damaged my labrum from stretching, trying to stretch my adductors and obviously I just made the pain worse, okay, I wasn't doing anything for my glutes or anything, right? So I don't agree that stretching is the way out of this problem. I think that foam rolling the adductors would definitely help and glute, strengthening the glutes, right? So, but for me, every time I try to like, how do you foam roll the adductors, right? And I just, put, every time I tried to foam roll, foam roll my abductors with foam roll, oh my God, I get horrendous groin pain. It would just aggravate the tear and stuff, right? The label tear. So this is the way I figured out to do it that I really feel like I'm having some success at loosening off the abductors. And I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? Okay, so what I do is I've got, I just bought a piece of, this is like drainage pipe and, um, and I cut it short, okay? And so what I do is I just get olive oil, uh, some coconut oil and I just stick the coconut oil, okay, between my legs like this, okay? And then 
I get this baby here and I just simply put my feet together like this and squeeze and I with because the oil is making it slippery I just move this up and down okay and I can tell you that's really getting deep into the adductors there okay and I make it I make this short so it's easy for me to grab front and back okay like this all right so I can do this to the cows come home it's not it, it, it's really effective in my opinion at actually really getting in and and lengthening the adductors okay without damaging your your labrum further by trying to just stretch out the adductors okay or you know hurt your labrum by just using a foam roller and you know getting you know sticking your leg out like this you know like I was trying to do using the foam roller okay and this is actually what I so I don't know what the diameter of this is I have all different diameters sometimes I change them you know because it uh, yeah but anyway this is this is about the the size but you can you can just experiment with different sizes this is not the thickness of a foam roller obviously it's less than the thickness of a normal foam roller okay so you know I don't want to see you get into more pain you know I don't want you to see you damage your labrum further by doing this friggin stretching that I see them doing on at upright health right like so anyway that's why I made this video for what it's worth okay I don't know hopefully hopefully it's helpful. See you later, man.